In part C of example 4, they've asked us to find h prime of 2. h prime of 2. So going back to our problem statement, uh, h of x was equal to the composite function f of g of x. So if h of x is equal to f of g of x. I'll need to take the derivative of this. And so h prime of x is going to be, and since this is a composition of functions, we'll have to do the chain rule. So it will be the derivative of the outside function, f prime of, and then What's on the inside is g of x, so we're just going to leave that alone. That is the inside function. But now I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is g prime of x. Now, this derivative is taking place at the point x equals 2, so we have h prime of 2 is equal to f prime of g of 2 times g prime of 2. So f prime of g of 2. So what was g of 2? Uh, g of 2 was 5. So that was f prime of 5 times g prime of 2. And g prime of 2 was 1 half. So so the problem here was that f prime of 5 did not exist. And so that means that my function f prime of 5 does not exist, but I'm multiplying by 1 half. My overall function does not exist. And so h prime of 2 does not exist.